how are you doing today? I hope all are well. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for joining me here today on my video. Um, I am going to do a tutorial. Um, this is from my coworker Maggie. She had requested that I, you know, show her a tutorial on a um, on a, eye, a brown eyeshadow look, which I will create using my 35G Bronze Goals eyeshadow palette by Morphe. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, Maggie, for you know asking me to kind of help you create this look. I know you're gonna have you're gonna go out this weekend and you wanna you wanna create this nice look with the with using brown shades or burgundy shades. You can use you can create this look with burgundy shades as well. But I'm gonna be using browns because I know that was your first choice. You wanted me to use brown. So I want to give a shout out to my coworker Maggie. Uh, this is who I'm talking about. I'm gonna help her out in how to create this look for the eyes. So it's gonna be a little uh, tutorial, you know, a little in-depth tutorial, not too much in depth, but you know, just enough to kind of give you the idea of how to create this look. And uh, practice and blending makes perfect, okay? So, um, what else was I, I was gonna say? Um, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. Um, I love makeup. I've watched videos a lot on how to create eyes, especially with once, especially with uh, hooded eyes, because um, my friend Maggie, she has uh, hooded eyes, and um, it's really hard to kind of get a really nice eye look when you have hooded eyes, and to create that look that makes your eyes look lifted instead of downwards, because I have a more of a downwards type of a uh, eye shape. And my friend Maggie, her shape, her eye shape is closest to this, almost as, as the same as my eye shape as well. But hers is a little smaller in the inner corner. But this is gonna, this technique is gonna be, it's gonna go well with uh, her eye shape as well. So hope you um, join me here today. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, like my video, and hopefully you you join me here today with. You know, hopefully you join me here today in going through showing you how I created this look. My eye look. Using browns. And using this wonderful palette by Morphe that I've been wanting to use. So, um, got, it gave me a chance to use this palette. So, um, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the tutorial portion of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show my friend Maggie what she needs, what brushes she's going to need. Um, I have everything just right here to the side, so I really don't have them just put all together here. I'm just going to grab brushes, and I'm just going to show them to you. That way you'll know, you know, what kind of brushes to use to kind of give you that the, the look that I created. And so you always want to start off with some, like, guard shields. Under your eyes to give you not only to keep you from having fallout from the eyeshadow palette because sometimes eyeshadow palettes tend to have some kick up it also helps you shape your eye in an upward that upward motion and the reason for that is because my friend Maggie and I we both have where we have hooded eyes we kind of have the same eye shape her eyes are a little bit smaller like in the inner corner they're a little bit you know more smaller than mine's are but you know we, st we still have the same you know um, the skin that just hangs over our lids so we have to create a crease you know in order for you to create the crease and create a nice eye look um, you have to your eyes have to be like lifted up and the only way that you can create a look that makes your eyes lift instead of downwards you have to use you have to make sure you you when you apply your your eyeshadow that you're applying it in an upward motion and outwards up and outwards not you know depending on the shape of your eyes and her, like I said uh, Maggie's eye shape is almost like my eye shape except that hers are a little smaller from the inner corner but the outside we both have the same like almond shape type of um, eye shape so you always want to go with your eye shape. 
Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist before I started this tutorial. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just, you know, someone who, who's watched a lot of videos and who's into makeup. But uh, these are the little things that you would like to do, that you would need to do in order for, for you to create a look, you know, that, that nice flawless look, you know, natural flawless look that, you know, everyone, every, every woman would like to have when they do their eyeshadow. So I'm going to help my friend Maggie out here. And I know this is a little tacky by using tape, but this helps out Maggie. It does. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this tape on the sides of my eyes because we want to get that winged out effect to make your eyes look like they're lifted up instead of down. So let's use this tape. You just put it right underneath your... The bottom lash line and then this is going to be your guide to let you know how far your shadow should go your eyeshadow and you want it to be either you want to you want it to go up this way or you want it to go up you could even make it go a little bit higher if you want to I just like mine to be to go in this direction to go kind of like midways not too high and not low definitely just midways I just think for me it's it's you know it's more natural for me because I can go higher if I wanted to but I really don't want to go that high so I'll go ahead and put these on or you can also get I, I had um you can also use guard shields and those help you give you that shape as well when you apply your eyeshadow but I don't have my I don't have my eye guard shield so I'm just using tape which is like an old hack an old technique that a lot of um, beauty gurus a lot of um, makeup artists well I don't know if makeup artists need to be using because they're actually applying them on their models but applying the, the makeup on their models but for us commoners <laughs> We're going to go ahead and um, use tape. And so you want to create a crease. Because like I mentioned, we have hooded eyes. So our, our skin is drooping down over our eyelids. If we close our eyes, you can see we have a whole bunch of eye space right here. Okay. And when we open our eyes, the eye, that eye space just shrinks. Sorry, my video cut me off there. So you have to create... Um, that eye space that you don't have when you open your eyes and you also when you close when you look down you don't want it to look all muddy or anything you don't want it to look like it's a mess you know because um, I've it's happened to me before where I've you know created a look it looks good when I open my, uh, my eyes but when I look down it's a mess so you want to be careful with that so you prime your eyes. You can prime your eyes with any eyeshadow primer. I do suggest to prime your eyes. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, Maggie, but um, your eyeshadow is not going to stick how you want it to unless you have like a setting spray or, you know, for the for the lid area for you to for you to use on your lid area whenever you're using your, your eyelid shade. But I do suggest that you get an eyeshadow primer. The concealers and foundations will not are not a good choice to use for eyeshadow primers but if you don't have an eyeshadow primer then use your concealer I think the concealer would be the closest thing to an eyeshadow primer so the concealer actually has like it's not meant for the eyelids you know it's meant to you know correct your skin you know cover up um, blemishes on your skin you know so that's what concealers are made for and they're real they tend to be um, also, um, an eyeshadow primer, what it does, it, it holds your, 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 your color together and it, and it, and it helps it stay on for a long time. It helps your eyeshadow stay on for a long time than a, than a concealer would. A concealer would just make your, it'll just look, it's too creamy. You know, it's just going to look muddy at times. It's going to look patchy. You know, but um, you do how you how you would how will you use to apply your eyeshadow if you want to use a 
a concealer or an eyeshadow primer but I use an eyeshadow primer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line I'm gonna draw a line I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna leave my eye open I'm gonna draw a line with an eyeliner this is a brown eyeliner um, any it also can also, no, it also can be like a black eyeliner if you like to use a black eyeliner but this is a brown eyeliner and you start right here in the middle of your eye like where the skin where this drooping skin is just create a line create a line here like an arch arch is like a curve and you're gonna you're gonna have to blend that color out with the shade so this is how it's looking now so you can see you can see there goes the pencil right so that's where you want to put your crease shade whenever you put your eyeshadow on okay so make sure you draw that guide when you have your eyes open so that way you'll know okay that's where you want your crease shade to be so we're gonna go ahead and use my 35g bronze gold palette I chose this palette because it has a lot of nice brown and reddish tones in here so I will create a look using this palette so first off for my crease shade I'm gonna go ahead and use you want to use like a mid-tone nude or mid-tone brown um, my friend my co-worker Maggie she has a darker skin complexion than I am she, she's a little more tanner than I am so she's she's so Maggie you want to start off with a more darker eyeshadow than what I would typically would start off with in my crease like for instance I would probably start off with for myself I would start off with this like these in the light shades you know the, the lighter shades because my skin tone's light and then you start going darker from there but since your skin tone's already tan you want to go ahead and use a shade that's a little bit darker than your skin tone so the skin tone that I would suggest that you should start off with you want to start off with the lightest tan shade which is I think this is like a really light tan shade so let's start off with this in the crease and I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil brush first because of this line that we have. You want to blend, blend, blend this. You want to blend this guide out with that shade. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this um, light, light shade here. This is called Sandy. So let's go ahead and apply Sandy on top of the the guide you just created just blend it out just blend it out with the pencil this is called a pencil brush okay and this is just to help you blend spread that color out spread that guide out kind of make it disappear with the shade and you're going to do that all over the crease area here. Okay. I'm going to go in with a more thicker brush than this. Because now, I'm not, now that I have my guide and how I have my, the colors already appearing on my crease there. I'm going to go ahead and use a more thicker crease brush not too thick but just something medium like something like this you know this one has an angle this one has an angle tip to it so it's like a medium not too small not too big and continue with that same shade and just just start going over that line making that guide disappear and just use just shade it in ok 
okay so once you've seen that this is all over the crease already because I can already see this is all over the crease already and you want to you want to spread it out towards the tape or if you have a guard shield on you want it to spread out towards the guard shield and that's your stopping point with the shade okay so is that easy enough to follow just bl keep blending just keep blending and you want that guide to completely blend out okay so now I'm gonna go with the darker shade so now I have this now you can see how this looks right okay it's starting to look lifted okay so now I want to go with the darker shade so the next darker shade I'm gonna go with is with this one here in the middle this is called necked naked it's called naked <laughs> n-e-k-k-e-d naked okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade so by the way Maggie, you want to start off with matte shades. So matte shades are the ones that don't have shimmers. Shimmers are the ones that you want to use like at the end to kind of give your, your eye a little pop. But you can always use like a, you can always create, you don't have to use shimmer shades. But I love to use them because they make my eyes pop a little, make your eyes look a little more uh, open. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. If you just like to use nothing but, you know matte shades where there's no shimmer you can still do that you can still create a real lovely look you know with just nothing but matte shades so the next color we're going to go ahead and use is this one here in the middle it's called naked <laughs> this one here in the middle this tan shade tan shaded brown and we're going to go ahead and use that matte shade and i had a lot of kick up so you want to tap that excess off and just like where the guide is from the eyeliner we used do the same process as we did with the first shade spread it all the way out until you get to the outer to the outside to where the where the tape is even if you go over the tape with it that's okay you just want to make sure you get that color there and you want to make sure you blend out that guide you want that guide to blend out. See, as you can see, the guide is blending out and starting and it's starting to smear in together with the other two shades we just used. So this gives me the idea of what is the next shade I want to use. The next shade I want to use is going to be a little darker. But like I said, you want to blend, blend, blend keep blending okay so So once you've you've already reached that color, it's a little darker now, as you can see in the camera, it's a little darker. Now you want to go in with a smaller blending brush, okay? So here's a smaller blending brush. You can see it has a smaller tip to it. I think there's one that's even smaller than this, if I'm not mistaken. No, I guess not. I guess this is the smallest one that we have. I just ruined my palette here. My <laughs> pan. You know, I just uh, dug my fingernail in that shade there. Whoa. 
Okay, so this palette is pretty big, so I dug my fingernail into the shade here. This reddish brown shade, I dug my nail, my pinky nail in there by accident. But it's a huge palette. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go with the darkest brown in this palette. Okay, Maggie, don't get scared. We're going to use the darkest. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to go ahead and go in with this dark brown. This is a matte shade still. There's no shimmer to it or anything. It's still dark. So this is what we're going to use for the outer corner. The outer corner here. Because you want your eyes, you want to give your eyes, um, you want it to look like it pops. You want to give it that smoky eye. So let's go ahead and use. And we just want to just barely just, just, tap that on there just tap tap it on there just tap it on there on the outside corner so you can see and then just blend and you're actually gonna tap it right here at the edge of the tape and just blend 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 okay you're not gonna go into the crease yet you will, but just right now, just blend. Blend that shade out. Just blend it like this. Just go back and forth. Blend it. Just blend it. And this is where your eyebrows are. Like where, <clears throat> like where your eyebrows end. That's where you want to stop. You don't want to go any further than that. So, so now this is where you start blending up. Because you want to have that lifted look. So let's blend up. Blend upwards. Blend upwards and then you little by little start to go into the crease with this darker shade. Okay. Okay, we're going to go in some more with that brown, the dark brown shade. I'm sorry, that shade is called Equator. On this palette, it's called Equator. So you want to go ahead and use it. And now instead of doing it on on the very corner, you want to bring it in a little bit into your eyelid and just tap, tap, tap. Just tap it there first and then blend circular motions up. You want to blend, blend, blend into circular motions up. Once like, you know, at first you tap, tap, tap. And then once you have the color on there, just blend blend it up and you're just staying within that that little edge you're not going in yet but you will soon but right now you're just gonna do the little edge here and just blend even if you have to blend into the crease you can okay so now this is what I'm doing I've gotten to the point where I'm comfortable in using whatever is left on this on this brush to just smooth it into the crease here. And even close your eyes because like I said, when you look up, you want to be able to see the shade. When you look down, you want to be able to see the shade and and you don't want it to look ugly. So so just like I said, upward motions and just keep blending. And even if I even if you have you have a little bit of pigment on the on the brush, just keep blending it in. Even if you have to kind of bring it into the corner here, you know. But just concentrate just in the crease there. Just concentrate in the crease. Okay. Just concentrate in the crease. Okay, and then you're done. You're done with your with you're done with your crease. Okay, you've created that look. You're done with your crease. Now you have to work on your lid. So this is where this is where you can either do a cut crease, or just you can use you can wet your brush and just use like a shimmer shade, or you can go in with the with a more like a gold shade, for instance. Um, 
you can go in with the with the gold shade you know whatever palette you have you can always use the lid to make your eyes pop to make your eyes you know give you that dramatic pop look and um, but if you don't if you just want it to look natural then go with the lighter shade and uh, this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go with the lighter shade and I'm going to go ahead and use a smaller brush. And it's not a blending brush. It's going to be a packing brush. You've got to know the difference between a blending brush and a packing brush. A packing brush, they're, sm they're more denser and they're closer together. The bristles are. The bristles are more closer together and they look like they're packed. That's a packing brush. The blending brush is more fluffier. And it's longer and more flexible. These are not as... You know, it's flexible, but they're smaller and they're packed. So you want to use this for the lid. And if you want a more natural look, you can. So if I were to use a natural look, I would go back in with the lighter shade than what we started off with. We started off with this shade called Sandy. Remember when we were, when we used the pencil brush, we started off with the shade Sandy. So go with this, with the, with the lighter shade for your lid, which would be... Which would be this here or this here but these are shimmer shades which is fine but if you want a more if you want a matte shade where there's no shimmer then the next one would be this one here so let's use this shade here which is called um deserted which is this one here this is a nice okay i'm sorry my video cut me off there okay so you want to go ahead and use that lighter shade that you then what you used for your crease you're just going to just apply it onto your lid just sweep it across all the way across and you're done you're done with your look um no not really you're not done with your look but it, you can actually just leave it the way it is now you see you can leave it the way it is now so get a fluffier brush like this one which is like a a huge fluffy brush like that and then you want to go ahead and use um, something for your eyebrow bone and you all usually want to use like a highlight for your eyebrow bone and you also want to diffuse the color that's right here above the crease you also want to diffuse it you know and you also want to use it for your lid if you like maybe wet so let's go ahead and and diffuse it with this shade here go with this shade here this is this is called the glow on so this is something you would like to use for like your eyebrow bone area you know just kind of mix it in with the rest of the top portion here just blend it so just blend it Just keep blending it in on your eyebrow bone to give you that highlighted shimmer. See how it's giving me that shimmer? That's what I want to achieve. And you can use different shades as well. I mean, I just use these because to me these are more natural more safer shades to use to go with this eye look that i just created and then so from so right here you know you you can stop you don't have to continue on with your eye look you can stop with your eyeshadow because your eyeshadow is done it's done but for me i really don't like to have this open space like that um i like to go ahead and wet the brush and I like to give it some shimmer. Now I also like to put some in my inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this brush. I'll just wet the smaller packing brush with a setting spray. So there you have it, it's wet. And I'm gonna go ahead and use, I, me, Maggie, I like to use bright, like, like, bomb colors like um that make your eyes pop so i'm going to use a gold shade the gold shade i'm going to go ahead and use that's that's been like I, it's been attracting me 
is this shade here. This is the shade So Golden. This one here. The, sec the second one right here. It's called So Golden. And this is what's been attract. I'm attracted. I'm this is attracting me to use it. So whatever is on your palette, whatever palette you're using, you know, you do the color you feel like it's best for you. I just like to put a little extra on my lids here. Because brown can be a little bit too overly overwhelming. <laughs> it can be a little overwhelming. So you want to kind of tone it down a little with like a more lighter shade or something that makes your lids pop. A uh, glitter, you know, just something that just doesn't overwhelm, doesn't make your eyes look kind of plain. I I'm not the type of girl who likes to... Who likes to wear like just plain eyeshadow? I gotta have either some pop of color in there. So this is my look that I created. You see? It's not too far off from the matte shades we just used, but I'm comfortable with this color because it pops it makes my eyes pop a little so now let's go ahead and use a I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade here on the side which is called glare and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner and I will use let me see what brush can I use I guess I can use um I like to use like little small brushes like this for the inner corner because your inner corner is pretty small so I'm gonna wet it as well because I want I want it to I want it to glow so I'm wetting I'm wetting it with the setting spray and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that shade and I'm I'm gonna use that for the inner corner which is right here See, oh, was that blurred out there? Sorry if I was blurred out there, but you see how that lighter shade kind of made your, your corner pop. And I think, I think we're done, Maggie. We're done. If you want to add some to your brow bone area, you can. Just in this little edge right here by your eyebrow, you can. Just to give you so, some highlight. You can even use like your most favorite highlighter if you have highlighter. Um, the most favorite one you like to wear kind of make your eyes look a little bit more glowier, like shinier. So let's go ahead and take this tape off and see how it looks. And voila, there you have it. It's like a smoky, like a smoky eye. And it's, like I said, I like mine to be a little bit more in the middle, not down. Or you can also just, like I said, lift your the tape higher and it'll give this line will go a little bit higher than what it is now i just like to be mid i, I, I like that fo foxy eye look so i'm gonna go ahead and come off camera put some uh do the rest do this eye put some lashes on and then you'll see the finishing look okay i'll be right back well there you have it this is the finishing look with um, eyeliner and eyelashes. I just put some eyelashes and eyeliner on me. So as you can see, the finishing look. And like I said, it all depends how you want your eye shape to look. 
Like I said, I have hooded eyes. This is uh, the hack to use for hooded eyes is making sure you have that guide that's above the crease because you have that big that big space right there because when you open your eyes, your space just disappears. But, you know, you're, you're able to see your, your shadow. Now you're able to see your shadow a lot better, um, giving you that guide on your crease. So, and even when you look down, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look messy. It looks seamlessly uh, and flawlessly done. It looks like you blended real well. That is the key. It's for you to blend, blend, blend. And um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, this is a a natural, like, this is a, a this is a um, semi-smoky natural look for for an evening night out you can wear it with great with burgundy you can wear you can wear this eye look out with burgundy with browns um you can also try this with any other you know you can try this hack with any other eyeshadows um you can also use instead of the brown eyeliner like the pencil eyeliner you can also use black you can use different shades depending on what shade you're going to use for your crease, how you're going to start off with your crease, how you, you know, the color that you want in your crease. That's a really nice hack to use in order for you to get this, um, this look for hooded eyes. Okay, and um, thank you for watching. So I hope I um, helped you out, Maggie. I hope you, I hope you were able to follow along my steps when I created this look. And um, hope you have a good a good weekend hopefully um, you were able to create this look throughout the week I mean hope you were able to create this look on the weekend of the day you're gonna go out yay <laughs> so um, I'll be looking forward to finding out how your your weekend went okay uh, with your nice bold eye look all right so hope it also helped other viewers as well who watch my channel and who are subscribed to my channel as well hope it helped you helped you out as well and um yeah thank you for watching so thank you for watching and before i leave because since we're in the theme of bronze using my bronze my bronze gold palette i want to do a giveaway and since we are ending the summer, the summer months, I do want to go ahead and do a giveaway with the, the Soul de Janeiro Body Joy Kit. You have a bronzing glow, glow oil here, and you have a sunset glow oil here, and you have the Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream from Soul de Janeiro. Yeah. So I'll be giving this away. So if you want to enter my giveaway, go ahead and put the word. So make sure you use the word bronze in your comments. And you have to be publicly subscribed. If you don't know how to publicly subscribe your your profile, your, your channel, if you don't know how to publicly subscribe your channel, I'll go ahead and link the steps you need to take to publicly subscribe your channel. It doesn't give us access to any kind of like confidential information or private information that it's, you know, that's on your end. It's just, you know, it just makes your subscriptions public to show, to show, you know, who you're subscribed to. That's all it does. It doesn't give us any other information. So don't worry. It's safe, you know. Um, so yes so i hope you do join in my giveaway we'll go ahead and so we'll go ahead and start the giveaway on the 22nd of september and it'll end on the 6th of october and i'll announce on the 7th who the winner will be so stay tuned for that video um like i said thank you for watching thank you for being subscribed to my channel so i'll see you in my next video i'll leave my jumps bye have a good day or good night, whichever part of the day you are. Yeah, have a good day.